Good afternoon, everyone. It is Friday, but we do have a couple of announcements that I want to make, two of them. One is on registration for next year's classes, and the second one is on CBM's A-Reading and A-Math tests. So let's get right to it. The first thing is that um, for sixth and seventh graders, current sixth and seventh graders, listen up. Your teacher has a copy, number one, of your elective choices. All right, we've given those based on what you chose, they have a paper copy. Take that copy home and show it to your family. We wanna make sure that they agree and that you can talk it over with them so that we know uh, that this is your final choice. You can make changes though. You can make them with your parents. Just let us know of those changes by Tuesday. How can you do that? Well, your parents can call us or you can bring the paper back to your star teacher and give it to them with the changes that you want to make. So for example, if you put um, uh, engineering number one and you decided that, no, I've already done that and I wanna put Spanish number one, then you can make that change, okay? So please do that this weekend. Again, we have to have that by Tuesday of next week. We're gonna start making your schedule, okay? Eighth graders, a little different. We're going to provide you next week with a list of electives that you can choose from at the high school and then information uh, for you to look at uh, each of those. So you'll have some reading that you can do about the different classes, but you'll get that list of possible electives next week. The high school sending them to us to give to you. Then, not next week, but the following one, their high school administrators will come down to your star and visit you. You'll get to know them by registering for your classes with them. So you're on a little different schedule, but don't worry, it is going to happen and it will happen over the next two weeks. If you have any questions, you can see me, you can talk to Ms. Shirk, you can talk to your star teacher uh, and we'll make sure that we get your answers, uh, answers to you. That's true for you sixth and seventh graders also. So that's registration. In addition though, next week we have three big things to do, three big things to do next week. CBMs, I know some of you have already done it, but we're gonna continue giving CBMs in STAR. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, A reading and A math. We basically are gonna have about an hour, okay? My times are off by five minutes, I think, but we are going to have a different schedule. Your schedule will be like we did for MCAs. You will have your STAR class uh, here to get, again, we'll give the tests in the morning, but we'll give them in our STAR classes this year. A reading and A math. On Wednesday, we'll do A reading. Everybody will take it at the same time in their STAR. On Thursday, everybody will take it together in their STARS. So if you have any questions on that, don't worry. We're gonna talk more about the schedule next week, but you've already done it for MCAs. You know how that works. So why is that important? Well, we, why do we need you to do your best on these tests? Because we have a question that we're gonna ask. How much have you improved in reading and math from the beginning of the school year? In other words, wherever you started from at the beginning of the school year, how far have you gotten since then? So how are we gonna answer that? We're gonna answer that by looking at your A reading and A math scores. So we need you to do your best so we can see how much you improved. So next steps in order to do that. One, okay, you need to look at your fall and winter scores on A math and A reading and set a goal with your teacher for your spring goal. Some of you may have already done that, but if you haven't, we want you to do that. We want you to think about, all right, I've seen where my, where my scores have been and I want to do my very best to show myself, my teachers, and my parents, my family, how far I have come since the beginning of the school year. So the second thing then will require uh, to do that is to just do your very best, right? Do your very best on the CBMs and do your very best on A reading on Wednesday and A math on Thursday. Those are our next steps, okay? Is that all? No, then we're going to celebrate your growth. Well, you say, how will we celebrate? Well, guess what? I'm going to make you wait for that. We're going to uh, tell you next week. 
All I can say is this. We are going to celebrate big, okay? We're going to celebrate big. Big growth will equal big celebration. All right, everybody. Those are our announcements. Wanted to give you a heads up. We will be have, uh, we will have another announcement on Monday and Tuesday as we get ready for our one last set of tests that we will take all together as a school. Have a great weekend. We are proud of you. We're going to rise up in our last few weeks of school. Thanks, everybody.